Well, hi and welcome. This is Kevin Leipzig, uh, host of Contractor TV. Uh, Contractor TV is focused on providing content to help contractors start, grow, and manage a successful construction business. We're sponsored by the Contractors Resource Center, which specializes in providing legal, financial, and insurance services for contractors. Today on Contractor TV, we have Gall with the RMO Agency. Um, good morning, Gall. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Kevin? Good. Great to see you again. I know we've done a few of these videos, so I, I appreciate you uh, investing some time today. Um, so today me. we're gonna we're gonna focus a little bit about um, you know how contractors can make extra income by working with the RMO agency. Um, and before we jump in, maybe tell me a little bit about a little bit about yourself in terms of what what got you involved in this business. So I've been with the business for 19 years, ever since it opened mm -hmm. in 2006. The owner of the business was looking to have a qualifier for himself. He was a contractor and he needed help qualifying for the test um, or to get a license, basically. And he hired an RMO on his own, so his own qualifier. And when he realized that he needed that service for himself, he knew that there would be others who would need that as well. So we uh, we started the business. I was his uh, his support person, and 19 years later, here we are, nice. uh, still growing, and uh, it, it's it's been a great process. Nice. Um, so for those that may not be familiar with what an RMO is or a qualifier, let's start there. What 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 is an RMO or a qualifiers? So in California, the term RMO stands for Responsible Managing Officer. And these are licensed contractors that essentially can qualify additional licenses. California licenses, they can work for um, additional, up to three corporations or licensed entities at a time. And uh, different states have different regulations. And, and here in California, we basically introduce these responsible managing officers to new individuals looking to become licensed so they can work as contractors here. Okay, great. And uh, from what you shared with me, eventually you're going to be uh, uh, working in Florida as, as well. Is that correct? Yes, yes. We are looking to expand into Florida. Hopefully right. yeah. this year we, we get going. It's uh, a little bit different terminology and, and, and sure. um, legality, but we I think we can wrap our heads around it and, and get moving. So nice. we're excited, yes. Nice. And congratulations on expanding. And for those that are looking at the video and wondering, you know, when we did this recording, we're in uh, May of 2023, the end of May 2023. Um, so tell us a little bit about, I mean, you serve essentially two different types of clientele. Those, uh, those are the individuals that want to get their contractor's license that may not be able to meet the criteria or have experience to get licensed. And then you work with experienced contractors that want to make additional income. So tell us a little bit about those two different clients and, and how you work with them. So the individuals looking to get their contractor's license could be ones that signed up to take the exam or, and haven't been able to pass it. Or maybe they do not have the experience on paper to be able to apply and take the test themselves. So they would be looking for an alternative way to uh, to get their contractor's license and doing it the RMO way is a legal alternative here in California um, because basically that waives the exam requirement for a new contractor and it provides a mentor, uh, which is the licensed contractor. So as you mentioned, one side is the one wanting to get their license and the other side is a licensed contractor who is really looking to make a difference for a new contractor, mentor, support, supervise. Um, years ago, when we started this business, the main concern of the Contractor State License Board was that people were only going to be doing this on paper and never talk to each other. The qualifier is not involved in the business and basically is a, an individual listed on the license without any involvement. So the way we set up our business is really to, for them to be in compliance with the contractor's board regulations, we require monthly reports uh, from, from the two that we put together to make sure that they're meeting, that they're providing all project information, walk through documents. That's really important to us because 
when you put two people together and one is responsible for the other, if they're never in communication, that's when trouble starts occurring and, and potential complaints and anything like that. So kind of like a, a 19 years in the business learned. Oh yeah, we're we're the matchmakers and we're also your psychologist and your, you know, the babysitter and everything. We yep. we continue yep. to stay involved and we we make sure that they uh that they're really in communication and really following through sure. for the next five years. That's basically how our program is. Okay. So the uh commitment or investment in time between the individuals that want to get their license and get to work right away and, and meet through that matchmaking process, a qualified uh, qualifier or RMO, um, that that period of time is about a five-year relationship? Yes. After five years, when a new contractor works under, here in California, works under a an active and clean license, they can apply to become their own qualifier uh, for the license and get the license without an exam. So only this is at the discretion of the contractor state license board. It's never a hundred uh, percent guarantee. Right. However, we've been successful and we've been recommending that new contractors gather all their information, all the contracts have everything lined up for when, when the time comes to prove that they've uh, worked properly, their license is clean and they're, they've been a hundred percent in this business as required by the contractors board. And you so help them all through that process. We help them from the process. We say from application to graduation. That is our our <laughs> program graduation after the five years. Nice, nice. So um, for those contractors that want to earn additional income and make some extra money and and and, and essentially build that relationship, um, who would be like an ideal client? Who would be that ideal contractor? Are there certain years of uh, experience they need to have or what what type of if any criteria do they need to have to be an RMO or a qualifier from a legal perspective once they have their first license and they pass the test they can qualify additional licenses so there's no time frame they need to wait in order to qualify somebody new however we look for the experience the older the, the, the ones who have the time and the desire to help a new contractor. So for us, it's not enough that you just got your license and, they, and you can do it. Yes, we have some of those as well, and that's totally fine. However, we really want the ones who are um, semi-retired, fully retired, really have the time and the experience to be helping a new contractor for the next five years. Yeah. But anybody with a license, uh, an active license, can do that by law. Okay. Are there fees involved for a licensed contractor to be a mentor and to partner with the RMO agency? The fees are actually paid by the new contractor coming in. So the individual looking to get their contractor's license, they pay for the application fee for all the insurances, uh, the bond, anything that's needed for the new companies paid by that new contractor. There's okay. no cost to sign up with us. So all they would need is to have a contractor's license, and uh, they would be able to qualify additional companies. And we would be making that introduction, which by the way, we also pre-qualify all our new contractors. So we do a background check. We make sure that there are no pending issues because we don't want to take responsibility or put somebody else responsible for someone who perhaps already lost their license or had issues in the past. We dig into all that as a part of our service to our licensed contractors. They trust us to be doing our due diligence here. Perfect. And I'm assuming there obviously some form of income potential, whether it's revenue share or a monthly fee that that contractor, that that's how they're making that extra income. Yes. So it's a monthly fee from RMO agency once the license is issued. And then we also recommend that the new contractor and the licensed contractor uh, continue to work together towards additional service, additional consultation that the licensed contractor can support the business. So starting out, it is the monthly fee and then growing into the business and continuing to support it for five years does bring additional opportunities for the licensed contractor as a mentor and consultant. Okay, perfect. Um, how long does the process typically take? So if... Um... A licensed contractor was watching this video and says, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm a little interested. You know, I want to learn how to, you know, mentor somebody, give back um, and, you know, earn, earn extra income while doing it. Um, 
they reach out to the RMO agency and, and um, open up a discussion. How long does that process take from the day that call is made to potentially getting that match make match made um, in contract uh, or into some type of an agreement? Is it is it a few days, a few weeks, month or two? What, what's a typical time frame? It really depends where the licensed contractor is geographically and what classification they have. So we have our hotspots, we call them, the areas that are very popular in new construction. Metro, um, markets, big cities. Yes. So I would say the Los Angeles area, again, in California, Los Angeles area, the San Francisco Bay area um, are our top popular areas. And of course, the general B uh the general contractor classification is the, the top one. However, other classifications are just as popular. We noticed a trend, a, trend, a trend happening right now with some roofers coming in, maybe because of the rains. So there yeah. are uh, some roofing repairs needed. We've been bombarded with roofing requirements. So right, especially really in depends. Florida. Probably and be so market in Florida for that, right? I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure it, it, you know, the market changes all the time. We're working with yeah. people and not products. So it would really depend on how the market is, what area you're in. And we try to make the introduction as close physically as possible to allow for supervision. However, sometimes we do have remote relationships for companies that are definitely set up for that. So it's, uh, we, we do our best to find a new contractor as soon as we can. However, that changes all the time depending on the market and yeah. everything else that I said. So yeah. we have a pool. The the new li the licensed contractors will be put into our RMO pool, basically. That is a list um, for us. As soon as we have somebody new, we look through the list and see who the closest and more uh, and, and best to be introduced to the new contractor. Yeah, I know from, um, you know, from my perspective, although, you know, we, I host this contractor TV channel here on YouTube, you know, my business, the contractors resource center, I've noticed um, certainly in the last three to four months, much more, much more activity on um, uh, those talking about what is, what is the RMO process and how can I get licensed? I've seen a lot of conversation specifically in some of these Facebook groups that I either belong to or that I manage. Um, one of which is, is called California Contractors Licensed and Insured. And that group now has, I mean, close to 20,000 contractors in there. And I've certainly seen um, a lot of questions and people talking about this topic. So this this uh, interview today is is perfect timing. I appreciate you making the time. So in summary, you're going to like, help. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're, like a, you're like a professional contractor matchmaking service, right? That helps people that want to get licensed but don't want to take the test and get into the business right away. And then for those experienced contractors or even newly licensed contractors that want a additional income stream and be able to mentor somebody, you put those people together, right? Yeah. And continue to support them for five years. So that's right. You don't, you don't introduce them and take off. You introduce them to nurture that relationship. Yeah. Yes. Stay involved. Perfect. Perfect. Well, Gal, I appreciate the time today. Is there anything we missed? Anything else you want to share um, during our recording here? I think we covered a lot. Um, again, we've been in business for 19 years this year. If you check out our Google reviews, we just reached 301 happy customer reviews on Google, which is quite exciting. That's great. That's Thank great. You. So yeah, that's quite a track record. We do our best to continue to support all our clients and hopefully yeah. the reviews show how involved we stay and, and uh, really that we care. We really, truly care. You've got some raving, raving customers, and that's true. I think that's what brought us together a year or so together, you know, myself reaching out to learn about this whole process and 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 looking at these other companies that try to do what you do and you guys by far the RMO agency by far stood you know head and shoulders above the others out there so you're you guys have obviously done something right yes <laughs> um so the contact information in the video is right up top um for gall um the RMO agency um and or can contact myself directly be happy to put you in touch with the resources at the RMO agency 
Gall, appreciate your time today. Um, and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you so much. All right, Bye. Gall. Thank you. Bye-bye.